documenting cases state by state of where there's been a, a fatalities, there's lung diseases in young people, they don't know why, uh, a lot of unknowns. So, and again, 25% of your season, if you get caught the first time, 50%, and then one calendar year. So, vaping, let's not do that. All right, uh, here are a few highlights from Friday night's football game and the varsity girls soccer game last Thursday night. Great job. Be sure to check out the Flickr page. You ever see me at games taking pictures? You ever wonder where wonder all those pictures go? They go to a place called Flickr.com where you can download any and all the pictures. The albums are already starting to accumulate for the year, so have fun with that. All right, Homecoming is next week. Can you believe it? We're already at Homecoming. September 26th, that Thursday night, all sports teams, all sports teams, modified JV varsity, are to meet at the Cuba Rusher Elementary at 5.30. We will uh, get the, the parade will start at six. We'll have convertibles. Remember, each team needs to find find a truck or vehicle that they can all ride on. So again, all sports teams, coaches, make sure you're getting that done. Garlic Festival parking that will be signups will be tomorrow. That's this upcoming weekend. So tomorrow, two forty five in the awe, and we'll see you next time in this week in athletics. Take care. Good morning and welcome to This Week in Athletics. Welcome to uh, our third week of school and here we go. So I'm going to work as fast as possible over the next two minutes so feel free to pause the video at like bus times so you can have those times. So here we go. So here are the bus times for the week. Remember all bus time. Welcome to the Rebel Express Show. I'm Nevaeh. I'm Jarrett. And today is day four. Today is also National Talk Like a Pirate Day. And joke of the day, why don't pirates shower before they walk the plank? I don't know, why? Because they wash up on shore. <laughs> That's a good one. And weather for today is a high of 71 and a low of 48. And it's sunny all day again. It's going to be so good. And last night, all of our teams lost, but our boys modified soccer tied 1-1. One to -one. Awesome job, everyone. Awesome job. And sports for tonight, there is a boys varsity soccer versus Genesee Valley game at Genesee Valley at 5. The bus will leave at 4. Boys modified football versus Wayland. Cohocton. Choked at Cohocton at Cohocton Sports Complex at 6. The bus will also leave at 4. Good luck, everyone. And seniors, you have powder puff practice Saturday and Sunday from 5 to 7. If you can't make it, that's okay. You can still play. Just remember to get your powder puff permission slips in ASAP. And any senior who did not have the chance to sign up for the college fair at Houghton College on Tuesday, September 24th, please see Mr. Ackerman immediately. That's very important. If you don't have a college chosen yet, you should probably go. And there will be a middle school spirit club fundraiser kickoff assembly ninth period today. Teachers, please take ninth period attendance and then bring your class to the odd. Calling all readers, there will be a new high school book club meeting in the library during fifth period lunch, the first and third Thursday of each month. Please see Miss Ross in the library if you would like to be involved. That sounds like a really great opportunity. Read some books, guys. And today, seventh period, there is a jazz band practice. Your teachers know that you're excused, so please come down and join if you can. And on the 26th, there is the sports parades. All teams have to be present. Talk to your coaches, guys, about vehicles. And the Garlic Fest is this weekend. Pop group and jazz band will be performing this Saturday, the 21st at 11. Those performing, please be there no later than 1030. Come out and support, guys. Next week is Spear Week for Homecoming. The middle school and high school homeroom with the highest percentage of participants during Spear Week will win a donut breakfast provided by the student council. The categories are Monday is Pajama Day, Tuesday is Meme Day, Wednesday is Switch Clothes with a Friend Day, Thursday is Tie-Dye Day, and Friday is Jersey Spearway Wear Day. It's going to be some good days. And the homecoming dance for grades 9 through 12 will be held Saturday, September 28th in the Middle High School Cafeteria. This year's theme is a black light dance, so if you plan on bringing a guest from a different school, please stop by room 26, which is 226, which is Mrs. Hellier's room, for a permission slip for your guest. These need to be returned by Thursday, September 26th. Seniors, chicken dinner tickets are due tomorrow. Yes, they are. It's very important that you sell them. And student council members, we have been asked to fill two time slots at the Garlic Festival Kitty Corral this weekend. Please email Mrs. Hellier ASAP if you can help out. They need two to three people per time slot. 
Uh, Saturday time slot is 2 to 4, and Sunday is 12 to 2. Did you hear that the iOS 13 and Android 10 came out today? I didn't. That's going to be really great. And some good news for you all today to end the show. An orphaned elephant from Kenya returns to her rescuers to introduce them to her newborn calf. The calf's name is Lily. Aww. That's very good. And that's all we have for you today. So we'll see, see you, you next time, time on the Rebel, Rebel Express show. show. Stay classy, CR. And good morning and welcome to This Week in Athletics. Welcome to uh, our third week of school. And here we go. So I'm going to work as fast as possible in the next two minutes. So feel free to pause the video at like bus times so you can have those times. So here we go. So here are the bus times for the week. Remember, all bus time pickups, all away games are always out front of the school. And there is the 530 practice late bus that uh, from 530 Middle High School, then to the Cuba Rushford Elementary, then over to the Rushford Gazebo. Remember, all pickups for the next year at least are going to be out front of the school. Vaping. Vaping is bad for you. I got a nice letter from the National Federation of High School Sports um, documenting cases state by state of where there's been a, a fatalities, there's lung diseases in young people, they don't know why, uh, a lot of unknowns. So, and again, 25% of your season, if you get caught the first time, 50%, and then one calendar year. So, vaping, let's not do that.